Hey guys, so I'm going to show you the best way I've found to make your emails more personal and to get more replies uh, while also saving time. So if you're going to do email personalization, you kind of have three ways to do it. The first way would be to manually write out each email, which obviously takes a lot of time. And for that reason, if you want to do like bigger volume, it really isn't worth it. Uh, but the only way I would use it is if I had like a small list, let's say 50 people and uh, that list was super important to me, then I would take the time to actually write out each email individually. Um, but yeah, this is the only case pretty much I would do it. The second way you have is using AI tools. So I would recommend against this basically in every situation because I've tested out a bunch of AI tools and all of them um, sound pretty bad. So they make lines that you really don't want to send out as a business. Uh, and yeah, I would just avoid it in general. And the third way is what I'm going to show you today. Uh, it's called generic personalization. And it's basically writing your emails so that they sound personalized, but they still work for uh, hundreds and even thousands of different companies and people. So how this works is basically you split up your lead list based on some kind of criteria that you can mention in your first line or email opening. Um, so one way you could do it is based on location. So the example here is from one of our agency clients uh, way back when we were running it for a company based in the UK and specifically in the middle of the UK called the Midlands. So you can say, I was browsing companies on LinkedIn and saw that company name is also based in the Midlands, small world. So this way, you're already kind of telling them that you're a local, building trust, and we saw that this worked super well. So there are other ways you can do this. You can also say like, a local joke, use kind of local slang. So you also come off as someone uh, someone local and building trust that way. Another way you can do it is based on industry. So I've taken an example here uh, with a supplement uh, company. So what you can write is, uh, for example, my colleague recommended I check out a supplement type. And after trying it for a few weeks, I couldn't help but reach out. So you can basically just take any kind of product that this kind of niche sells. Uh, so you're kind of sure that they sell it and uh, yeah, write it this way. So again, this will work for most supplement companies, uh, but it sounds kind of personalized. And then, yeah, you can also combine these two. Uh, so you can say, I was looking for cool uh, specific niche brands in location, stumbled upon company name and felt like I had to reach out. So again, you split your lead list uh, based on the niche and based on location. So you again can kind of personalize around those two uh, criteria. And yeah, uh, there are other ways you can try this. It doesn't have to be just location or just industry. It can also be based on the context title. So basically what this means is that you're reaching out to sales managers, for example. You can mention something about that job what they care about, making it sound personal uh, for that specific uh, title or job position. Another way you can do this is based on uh, funding status. So in some places where you can extract leads of recently founded companies, uh, you can mention something around that. Uh, you can Google around what uh, companies in those funding statuses uh, care about and mention something around that. Another way you can do it is uh, based on the contact source. So basically where you got the contact from, if you scraped it from LinkedIn, you can mention it, you were reading something from LinkedIn, saw it there. Uh, if you got it from Twitter, you can mention you saw their tweet. So yeah, basically anytime there's some kind of criteria that matches a bunch of leads, you can write something specific around that, make it sound personal uh, specifically for that contact, but you can still, sent that same email to let's say a thousand leads and then on top of that what i recommend is throwing in some spin taxes so what we talked about in one of the previous videos uh, so that way you can guarantee that all of your emails are going out as unique as possible and then also you have this kind of generic personalizations in the beginning so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you do it thanks for watching